Pinnacle weapons. Just start the video. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, let me just start this off by saying that this is going to be a rant video. But before we get into the video, if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more Destiny 2 content as soon as it's released, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, as well as go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It's a growing community where content creators and streamers can post all of their Destiny 2 videos and post when they go live. Today, we are going to talk about Pinnacle Weapons and Bungie. There will be good, there will be bad, but it'll still be a rant because I'm tired of the repetitioning with Pinnacle Weapons and not a very good repetition either. Now, all sources will be in the description box below. Bungie. According to Dictionary.com, the word, quote, Pinnacle, end quote, means and I am quoting the second definition as of this video is, quote, the highest or culminating point as of success, power, fame, etc. End quote. What the fuck does that mean when you call something a pinnacle weapon and you keep giving them away? What is it that a guardian such as myself and other better skilled guardians have to do in order to get some respect. Yes, respect in this game. What is it really? You give us a pinnacle weapon and a goal to aim for. A goal that only dedicated guardians can achieve with experience and patience, focus and determination, and then later on in the season, you just shit all over everyone who spent all of those hours grinding for that pinnacle weapon. Then, you make it easier to get with not even half the requirements. Now, I know I'm not the only one who feels this way, but for the record, yes, I am talking about Mountain Top and the recent nerf to the quest. If you don't know, here are the changes. For Mountain Top, the number of multi kills have been reduced from 200 to 75. The number of medals have been reduced from 100 to 25. Points earned and competitive have been further increased relative to other PvP nodes. One times for Quick Play, two times for Iron Banner, and three times for Comp. Now, the mountaintop isn't the only way Bungie has fucked us over with Pinnacle Weapons. Do you remember the Redrix's Claymore? I know I do, because I am one out of 8,750 Guardians, according to Bungie's report to Game Rant, which actually acquired the Redrix's Claymore. But then, when the next season started, Bungie goes ahead and says a big fuck you to the community, now everyone can have a broadsword. Which, with a god roll, is even better than the claymore. Quick tip, if you have a broadsword with full bore and ricochet round, then you probably will dominate in PvP come Destiny 2 Shadowkeep because Broadsword is getting a buff according to the Sandbox team at PAX West August 2019. If you want to know more about this, I will put an annotation at the top right of the screen right now as well as in the description box below to a video that Aztec Cross Gaming had made explaining everything about it. But moving on, let's not even forget about the changes that came to the Luna's Howl which made it even easier for people to get. But let's talk about Hush for a moment. No, Bungie didn't make it easier to get, but they also made it a waste of time. For those who don't know, Hush is a legendary bow and you get the quest for this weapon from the Drifter. Here are the requirements to actually get the bow. You need 1000 final blows with a bow, 500 precision final blows with a bow, and medals earned. And I think there's roughly about 600. The intrinsic perk for Hush is called Archer's Gambit which after firing a hip fire precision shot, you gain an increase in draw speed. And believe me when I tell you, this increase in draw speed is huge. I mean fast. When Archer's Gambit is active, this bow becomes the best. Yes, I will say it, it will become the best bow in Destiny 2, and that's saying a lot. But in order to become the best, you need to proc Archer's Gambit. But besides the questline itself being extremely long and tiresome, the issue with this bow 
is getting that precision shot by hip firing. That is not an easy task for the average player in PvP to accomplish, let alone Lance Corporal Joe Schmuckatelli over here trying to use it in comp. The playability of Hush is pretty much close to nil. Only very, very, very experienced players can use Hush successfully and even they don't want to deal with the hassle. Archer's Gambit would be an amazing bow perk if it just required you to hit one or two normal precision shots versus a precision shot firing from the hip. In PvP, if you miss your hip fire shot with the Hush, no skilled player will let you regain that ground and will destroy you with whatever they are ADSing with. Besides Hush, a lot of the pinnacle weapons in Destiny 2 feel very lackluster. For example, when was the last time you heard people say that the 21 Delirium needs to get nerfed? Or that the Oxygen SR3 is OP and competitive? Never! We always hear about the same four, soon to be five, weapons in PvP. Those are the Luna's Howl, the Recluse, Mountaintop, and Not Forgotten. And I am just counting pinnacle weapons. The fifth one is the Registered's Broadsword, but we'll take that one with a grain of salt at the moment. Those four are pinnacle weapons. Those four are what millions of Guardians are grinding for. Those four have the right, the decency, the audacity to be called pinnacle weapons because they show promise. And what I mean by when I say they show promise is that they are weapons that are amazing in PvP as well as PvE, whether in comp or in the nightfall. You can depend on these weapons to do their job and do it well. The problem is Bungie. Bungie given in to people complaining that the quests are too hard or it's not fair that the good players get to play with these weapons. Those players get to play with those weapons because they did what other players couldn't and that is the grind. Grinding out the quest as it's supposed to be. That's how you get to the top. The pinnacle. The place of no return. That grind is worth every second, minute, hour, day. But you know when it's not worth it? When a guardian climbs to the top of that mountain, that pinnacle, and then Bungie goes ahead and blows up the mountain, making it easier for others to climb. Then after, they pretty much start giving away free ski lifts to people. Pinnacle weapons should not be handed out so everyone has them. They need to be earned. Nerfing a quest is not earning. I'm sorry, it's not. Whether it be mountaintop or any other pinnacle weapon quest. Climbing to the top isn't an achievement if everyone can do it. How can I become the best? How can I become legend? How can I become Achilles when everyone else's story is the same as mine? It just can't happen. And it's not fair to those who do the grind how it was meant to be done, then after a nerf to the quest, no compensation for those who actually did it before the nerf. A pinnacle weapon in my eye and in many others is supposed to be the best of the best. You're supposed to have this feeling of accomplishment after completing a pinnacle weapon quest and then the weapon be that prize. You're supposed to have that feeling like, okay, I did the quest, I got the weapon, I'm happy, I'm not doing it again. But don't make a pinnacle weapon quest so hard that people have to go into private servers, not private matches, just to get the weapon. And yes, going into private servers is a thing, if you didn't know. And yes, it kind of is cheating, so don't do it. Now for the good. Bungie has a lot of potential with what Destiny 2 and the franchise could be in the long run, especially since they are now publishing their own games. That's all for the good. What I don't want to see, and I'm sure many people would agree, I don't want to see a pinnacle weapon in the battle pass. I will say this right now. If Bungie starts putting pinnacle weapons in the battle pass, I am quitting Destiny and I will go to Apex Legends or Call of Duty full time, 100%, not kidding, because, well, for one, there is no Fortnite in my house, ever. <laughs> Ask my son. I did say, Pinnacle weapons, not regular weapons. I'll still play D2 if the ornaments are in the battle pass, but not the weapons themselves. The only good to come out of all of this is Bungie keep making the pinnacle weapon quest challenging, but not nerf it later on. 
It just doesn't feel like a worthy accomplishment when you do stuff like that. Anyway, let me know what you guys' thoughts on the matter about Pinnacle Weapons are. What you think should change, what should remain the same, or how you think Pinnacle Weapons or the quest can become better. You guys can tell me your thoughts on the matter in the comments below and we can definitely have a discussion about it. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video, toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon and I will see you guys in the next video.